Hello, it's Commander Hawk here. Today we'll be showing off the new map, Administrator's Palace, on Sabotage. So, first of all, there's a little x men back here. It's part of the map, so not really useful unless you want to get a cheeky little shot towards C. You can go around back here later in the game. The rebels will spawn back there. This is the building where the last point will be. We'll get into that later or more. But pretty much this map, there is two pathways right at the start. Hero pickups will spawn there, and a lot of times they'll spawn down there, and then later we just spawn right there later in the game. But I'll go towards A and B first. I'll pick I'll grab a hero real quick. So I move a little bit faster. Hello, what have we here? We show off the hero while do this. And then the hero become we will also spawn like right there most of the time. I've had Focus I spawn on a couple objective. different places. Rebel troops are watching Here's Dawes, right. big shout out to him for helping me. And then there's this room, which is multiple in entrances from there, there, the one I came from, there, and there. So not really a good place to camp. But the first sabotage point is right here. You can actually get in these elevators. You can open them up and go in and stuff. They all open up. But then, following this path right here, it's kind of going to loop around. This is a pretty good place to hold, as you have cover with this middle thing, and they do not. Around here, there's another entrance outside. We'll get into that more later. And then you meet up into this room, which is usually where the siege will come from. Hiding in the elevator is kind of fun, but not that good. So all you're in them, it actually doesn't want your partner to spawn. Doesn't want your partner to spawn on you. So not that great place to to hide strategically, but it's pretty fun. And around here, it loops back to this area, which here's where the last hero pickup spawns. And then this loops back out to this outside area. I'll show this area off we did it. later more. Gas generator but more you go back this fire. way. Up here it goes right back into it, and then if you go around here, it will lead you back into this room. So, and then this is kind of the point, the, the area, and then the staircase is the first route to get to C. You go up here, you can turn left or right. Right will also lead you down this path to the outside. We'll get into this area more later once again. But, you follow this God, way down, and this way you can get off here, which is a pretty big fight zone, usually down here. You can just see their spawn. You can actually see, shoot through these windows like you saw in the trailer. This is going to lead you up here to a balcony, which is a very good point to fire down at point C, and then you can use the staircase to come out here. The Imperials often will come up here and sit up there. You can jump down this. Look sharp. And then the area. this area is the has lots of cover to defend from the charging rebels. This area is really more useful than the Empire. There's Slave 1 back here. Not really useful. But I guess if you really want to hide somewhere back here at work, it's ever at Heroes or Stones on these maps. This would not be too bad of a place to hide. But, moving on up this main staircase, it will lead you to this room. It's got three different ways. This way will lead you back into this tunnel, which leads you back there, and then back there, already to this tunnel. Stay alert. This way will lead you down to this tunnel. Let's create an illusion. I'm getting a bit of lag here. I'm not sure why I'm the host, but. It will lead you up into this balcony, which good to fire at that balcony because the Imperials will get a much better access to that balcony and then also to fire down the generator, generator and then you down. can also follow well down this staircase which will lead you back on this outside back area which I'll actually tour now real quick pretty much leads you down to the hero pickup so you meet up there and then there's a pathway there to 
you go back to your spawn. And then when you go back in here, here's this pretty open room again. You can access back up here into this tunnel. So that staircase will be down to that open area. And then you can follow this down here, which is where it connects to the other tunnels. This middle tunnel will just lead you down a pretty straight pathway. And then if you go down this way, it will lead you back towards where point B was. So that's kind of this area. A uh, personal way I like to travel is go through here. You can just place on here, but then you can use this to get out. This area is very deadly out here as neither team really gets cover. But you can travel back along this way to get to point B. Point B is usually where the most hectic fighting is. That is very hard to see, but it is possible if you do. This is the main way here usually. Usually they get it by charging through this way, which we can access by just going down the side tunnel here. Or another pretty common way to get to the point is to jump down here or use the staircase over there or farther down there. You jump down here and go along up here. And then this will meet up with this tunnel, which you can also use. But then you can ambush around this way, which will give you a pretty good point. You can run from staircase to staircase, and here you can go completely flank around this way. And then you can also go from the Imperial spawn, use this way to the And finally, you can go up on the roof. I can't show you this right now, as I don't have a jetpack, but I'll just show you. You can jetpack up. There's some block here that you can't shoot people through, but they can jump down. And that's a very good point. Real quick before we go to the extraction point, I'm just going to show off kind of where the Imperial spawn. Here's a pretty good place to shoot at the rebels while they're, while they're over there. And then the Imperials will spawn in this building back there. It won't let me go in it, but that's where they'll spawn. They'll use these pathways to get to point C. And that's usually where they're going to come from. And there's that doorway earlier. So then we're going to go down this way. Where... Where you can go back down this pathway, or you can travel through that way, and you want to retreat towards the rebel spawn. Where, when you're there, pretty much you're going to go back up the staircase, or if you're going through this building, go across this bridge. Where there's a pretty good hold point here, if they're coming out there, and you can fire down there. And then, this edgeway is where probably the most, I guess holding and fighting will be due to you can get pretty much every view where the Imperials are going to come and this goes all around there's the X-Wing again from where we spawned in and then inside the room is just where the extraction point itself is where the rebels have to hold down it's pretty easy to hold down except for when Palpatine and Dengar start getting into that area Dos is Dengar right now and he can tank a little bit Get and ready. then back here is where you will spawn once the extraction point is going on or the rebels will spawn the empire will spawn up more that way kind of towards that middle building the rebels will spawn back here EYB you can jump on doesn't have a very good angle but you can get a couple kills sometimes your team's really getting slaughtered but that is pretty much this map. It's relatively small. It's probably my favorite of all the I best the maps added. There should be more map viewers coming. Anyway, guys, goodbye. And remember, contact.